Hello, everyone. My name is John from Community Life Church in Catskill, New York, and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified. Facebook, follow us, like us, and everybody, please leave a comment. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Today's episode is The Life of Jacob. Now Isaac wants a meal. So Esau went to get a meal for his father so that his father would bless him. But it didn't exactly work out that way. So today we're going to take a look at Genesis chapter 27, verses 1 through 4, a couple other passages, just to see how this destiny thing is working out for Jacob and Esau and Isaac and Rebecca and all these folks. So let's go right over to our, our scripture for today. Take a look at it. And it says, now, this is Genesis chapter 27, 1 through 4. Now it came about... When Isaac was old and his eyes were too dim to see, that he called his older son Esau and said to him, My son. And he said to him, Here I am. Isaac said, Behold, now I am old, and I do not know the day of my death. Now then, please take your gear, your quiver, and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and prepare a savory dish for me as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, so that my soul soul may bless you before I die. And then further on, Rebekah, five and six same chapter was listening the boy's mother while isaac spoke to his son esau so when esau went to the field to hunt for game to bring home rebecca said to her son jacob behold i heard your father speak to your brother esau now so what's going on here and in this interesting passage what what do we see well this is like the great setup you know esau does as his father once even though his habit was his was to not do so he was to go his own way uh but he did his motivation was to get the blessing (coughs) excuse me to get something from his father and that's never a good motivation to have so and then you know i want to just this story is interesting because we see people that are basically normal average uh this is almost like what we would call a real reality tv is like a reality tv show with this dysfunctional family with these bunch of jerks sitting in a tent trying to get along and trying to steal and all this stuff and that to to me to my mind that is encouraging because it shows the absolute normality of people that god calls and uses to work out his plan so anyway the boy's mother rebecca hears isaac and sets up this plan for Jacob, her favorite son, to get the blessing instead of Esau. So Esau, by the way, had already surrendered his blessing way back when they were young for a bowl of soup for a meal. It seems like meals are important to these people. So Esau was already on the losing side of of this transaction, so to speak. So he had despised, it says, his birthright, something, his destiny. He did not care for the future. He just wanted wanted what he wanted, and he wanted it now. So despite all the trickery and treachery we see going on here, there is a lesson for us. So we should value, that lesson is we should value our God-given destiny. And we all have a destiny that's created by God just for us. Everything has a destiny. I have a destiny. You have a destiny. Our churches have destinies. Our villages and towns and cities and governmental organizations have destinies. Our country has a destiny. All these destinies are out there for us to walk in, but they all involve obeying God. And Esau was just plain old, not willing to do that. Now we can see this in the New Testament. Let me just, let's get over to the next and last verse for today. This is in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 4, just to emphasize our destiny and where it comes from. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. All right, so we see that we have this God-created, God-given destiny. So before anything was created, our destiny was decided by God. He sent his messenger, John the Baptist, calling us to repent and to make a choice for God. Jesus came with the same message, repent, change your ways and go follow God. Walk in the destiny that God has prepared for you. You can see that, for example, in Mark chapter 1 verses 4 and 15. So, what's the bottom line? The bottom line is, for you and for me, for us today, we have to pay attention to our destiny, and we'll see how that works out for Jacob and Esau Esau in the coming weeks. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching. We, you can find us on the web at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. 
We meet 1030 Sunday mornings in 20 West Main Street, Catskill, New York. Hope to see you there, and thanks once again.